Hey, what is going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my sports again, Atria. In this video, I'm gonna go over the NBA play-in West eighth seed game for Friday, May 21st, 2021. I'm gonna show you both sides of each game, and it's gonna be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in these games, you'll have to join my Patreon where my picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your pick today. Let's go ahead and get into the game. We're going to be looking at the Grizzlies versus the Warriors. I have my daily numbers on this side, date numerology, Gregorian in the Hebrew calendar. And then I have my game numbers on this side. We're only going to be using the season record. Spelt that wrong. We're only going to be using the season record for these play-in tournaments. The head-to-head -head for the, the season for the play-in tournaments. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, just because the postseason records don't start until the postseason begins this weekend. So we have the Grizzlies versus the Warriors. The Grizzlies won their game. The Warriors lost their game. And this is for the eighth seed to go on to play the Utah Jazz, I believe it is. Eighth seed to play the Jazz. Yeah. So we don't have a whole lot of numbers to work with here. We're going to have to use our imagination. <laughs> But there's a, an easy side for, for both sides. Um, today has 47 date numerology on the Gregorian. 47 sums to 149, the 35th prime number. Grizzlies can get their 35th loss for the season to end their season. Or the Warriors can get their 35th loss for the season to end their season. So that goes either way. Today has a 40 date numerology on the Hebrew Civil. And Grizzlies can get their 40th win for the season to advance. Or the Warriors can get their 40th win for the season to advance. The Hebrew Civil has 31 date numerology as well as 40. Just like the Gregorian has 31 date numerology. The number 31 sums to 109, and it's the 10th day of the 9th month on the Hebrew Civil. And the Warriors, they can they can up the series 3-1, three to, three to one, like 31, head-to-head -head against the Grizzlies for the season with the win. 3-1 to one or, or 31 is the 11th prime number, and Warriors would sit on 11 home losses for the season with the win as they do it. Today has 13 and 31 date numerology on the Gregorian. Grizzlies would be 1 and 3 on their end, like 13. And um, one last thing, Grizzlies could get their 17th road loss to go with it all. And 17 also sums to 109. It being the 10th day of the 9th month on the Hebrew Civil. Go ahead and mark that cantaloupe color. On the flip side, though, Grizzlies could get their 21st road win. It is the 21st of May. 2116 mathematically has a square root of 46. And I didn't see any direct connection of 46 on this particular day. Actually, that's not true. The number 31 sums to 46 so that could be where the 31 swings to instead of warriors becoming three and one head dead against grizzlies maybe the 31 swings more towards the uh 109 and 46 and then grizzlies could become 21 16 on the road which has a square root of 46 so not much numbers to work with um make a case either way 40 goes 40 and 35 goes either way 40 35 goes either way Really kind of basing it off of the 31 here for the Warriors, potentially. But Grizzlies could even score 22, 2-2. Two 22-2. Two. 
165, 39, 78, 42. If Grizzlies did even the score 2-2, two and two, it would keep Warriors on that 39. And, uh, and another thing for the 21 for the Grizzlies, if they were to get their 21st road win, 21 sums to 141 and 39 as well. It being the 141st day of the Gregorian. The 21st of May. So there's some numbers here for the Grizzlies 21. You know, based off of the two performances, I want to say without numbers, I want to say it's the Warriors just because Grizzlies were up by like 20 points and they blew the their, their lead and they barely won the game uh, against their opponent, whereas Warriors put up a better fight against a better opponent. And it makes me think Warriors will just destroy the Grizzlies. But it's the NBA. What's most likely going to happen is it will come down to the last few seconds and or the last final shot or two. As well. <laughs> just, just to keep the eyes glued to the TV. Um, I don't know. We'll see. They do it in all sorts of fashions. I mean, Pacers blew out the Hornets like it was no, no tomorrow. So you never know. Maybe Warriors blow out the Grizzlies, or maybe the Grizzlies blow out the Warriors. But the winner of this game goes on, plays on Sunday. And I didn't really see any numbers on Sunday to really back up their records, their season record. Um, nothing really jumped out at me. You know, let me know if you guys have anything different or anything to add. Put in the comments below. Um, and uh, we'll just wait and see what happens. And uh, we'll head into the weekend for the uh, official kickoff of the playoffs. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.